Hello and welcome to this video blog post on the importing of smart notebook files into the Octopus software. This is a feature we've been working on for some time and we're really pleased to be launching it. Take a look at uh, exactly how this feature works. As with all of the features of Octopus, it's a totally free update and that includes the importing of, uh, of smart notebook files and you'll be notified when that update is available and you can simply download it from the website. The whole idea of this feature is that when you're moving away from smart boards and over to touch it LEDs and the Octopus software, you don't lose that legacy content that you've created on your smart board. So this feature will allow you to not require the smart notebook software and you'll simply be able to import those files into Octopus. Here I have open Smart Notebook and I've opened a native Smart Notebook file. And you can see I have my, my different screens down the side here and we've got a, a, a maths activity that, uh, that's been created in a Smart Notebook. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this notebook file and I'm going to import it into Octopus. And what you're going to see is exactly what imports and what I've got to do with that file to make it fully usable inside of uh, Octopus. So here I have Octopus open and what I'm now going to do is import that smart notebook file. So I'm going to click on the file option, I'm going to click on import, I don't need to save my previous version and I'm going to scroll down to find my smart notebook files here. I'm going to choose module 1 lesson 12 and I'm going to click open and you'll see that those 17 pages were imported very, very quickly. So let's take a look at what we need to do now with the file to make it really useful for us. So here we have our smart notebook file imported into Octopus and the first thing that you'll notice is that it's not the same size as when it was in Smart Notebook. Uh, this is a feature that we are looking at to see how we can make it more relevant and more relative to the actual screen. But what we've got to do at the moment is simply hold of our objects, move them and resize them on the screen to, to make it a, a better fit for the, uh, for the LED monitor. You've also got to note that when you're importing from Smart Notebook, you're importing in a different aspect ratio. So you, you are going to have uh, some moving around of objects to, uh, to make them fit nicely onto the LED. You can see all of our different slides have imported and here's another example of uh, a page where I'm going to have to move the object around just to make them a bit bigger uh, and fit the, the LED nicer. But the key thing here is that you're not losing the content, so you're not going to have to recreate that legacy content. Okay, So that's the first thing, we're going to resize so everything fits the LED screen. Here I am on the second page of the file that we've just imported into Octopus. Now on the original inside of Smart Notebook there was a countdown timer. Now the way that the import works, if you've made use of one of the Smart Notebook tools, what Octopus does is it looks at that tool and then it will suggest the, uh, the most relevant tool for you to use. So in this case, we're going to use the countdown timer. And I'm going to drop this in. I'm going to just select the time and reset this to the, the minute that it was before. And I'm good to go. So if I just change this to a countdown, you can see that I've now got my minute activity. So when you're importing from Smart Notebook, if you've used one of the smart tools, you need to use the equivalent Octopus tool um, after you've imported it. The next scenario here for our imported Smart Notebook file is what happens if you've used a feature inside of Smart Notebook that doesn't actually exist inside of Octopus. And here we've got, uh, we're on page six of our imported um, Smart Notebook file and this actually has uh, exactly that. 
So in the native Smart Notebook file, when you tapped on the coloured areas, they disappeared. And this isn't a feature that's yet available in, uh, inside of Octopus. So what Octopus does is it really does the best that it can. It's imported all of the information. I've resized this page already to make it fit nicely on the LED. Now, instead of tapping to, uh, to make the, the, the coloured areas disappear, in this case, I can either slide them away like this, or I could use a different tool to achieve the same thing. So I could open multiple um, cover slides, for example, and use the covers over the top uh, instead of the shapes. So if Octopus doesn't know how to deal with a feature that you've used inside of Smart Notebook, it does the best that it can to maintain that content so that you can then go back and, and achieve the same, just in a different way using an Octopus tool. So just to recap, we've imported a native Smart Notebook file into Octopus. We resized the objects to make it fit nicely on the screen. We replaced any of the smart tools that we were using with the Octopus tools. And we looked at other ways to achieve the same thing if the functionality wasn't available inside of Octopus that you had in your native smart file. All of this is available to be used with Octopus and they will be totally free of charge that you can download from Octopus Share and use them with your Touchy LED.